It looks like iPhones are getting USB-C after all very soon, but not because Apple really wants to do it. We have some new leaks from the Samsung Galaxy S20's launch date and price tags, and some new patents show us the possible design and features of the Huawei Mate X2. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, well, it's Friday, and yet we've got a lot of really good videos over the weekend, so stay tuned for that. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals, and I'm actually not gonna bore you just with Apple products or with Amazon, we've got a couple of options here. But yeah, let's begin with the Amazon deals. That 16-inch MacBook Pro is up to $300 off on Amazon, but you can actually get $200 off on B&H, and that offers the option for more variants. But moving back to Amazon, the Apple Watch Series 4 is $100 off in both GPS and cellular variants. And finally, the Marshall Woodburn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth speaker, which used to go for $500, bucks. it's actually one of my favorites, and then dropped to $354, can now be found for up to $308, depending on the color variant that you're looking for. You can find the links in the description. And all right, for those of you that were going crazy over that Motorola smartphone with a stylus, I know, all three of you. Apparently, that's not necessarily gonna be a flagship or it could just be, we don't know. Thing is, we have some new leaks of this device and tipsters claim that it will be the Moto G8 stylus and it'll pack triple rear cameras and laser autofocus. The main sensor will apparently be of 48 megapixels and the wide angle will be of 117 degrees of field of view. And other specifications include a 6.4 inch display, four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, along with a Snapdragon processor of no specification, possibly announcement February 23rd. Stay tuned for that. We'll keep you posted. Now let's talk about Xiaomi. This is a product that we've been expecting ever since the Qualcomm Snapdragon Summit back in Maui, where they told us the Mi 10 is bringing the Snapdragon 865 in addition to 5G. Thing is, XDA developers just went into the code of MIUI 11 and found that the Mi 10 Pro will bring 66 watt fast charging. That's actually faster than Oppo 65 watt boot charging. And other leaks include the fact that it'll bring 12 gigs of RAM, quad cameras at the back with that 108 megapixel main sensor, a 48 megapixel extra camera, and then 12 and eight, but we don't know specifics as to what field of views these are for. And uh, yeah, even 40 watt fast wireless charging. Finally, finally. Now here's the thing, one of my favorite products, if not my favorite of MWC 2019 was the Huawei Mate X because it was that foldable tablet that folded into a device that pretty much looked like the Galaxy Note 9 at the time. I really wanted it, but we know how that went. The pen shows a foldable device with a stylus. It also has six cameras in total with quad cameras at the back and a dual camera system at the front. Thing about it is the form factor looks pretty similar to the Mate X, so we are assuming that this is the direct successor. We'll keep you posted and hopefully we get something at MWC again. Now let's move the spotlight over to Samsung. Those of you that are interested in that Galaxy S20, the company pretty much just spilled the beans on. Well, registration to a certain degree. This pretty much entails that you'll get an email as soon as pre-orders begin. However, the website does leak that you should expect delivery by March 6th. We also have more leaked price tags, uh, at least from Poland. We're expecting up to five variants of the S20, but in Poland, apparently, they're only getting four. The regular S20 would cost 917 euros, or more, the regular S20 uh, around 1,022 or more, and then the 5G S20 Plus 1,138 or more, and then the Ultra, which, yeah, I know, Ultra, 1,394. That's gonna be an expensive cookie. We'll see if it's gonna be worth it. And finally, the hottest news today, uh, I can't believe it took this long. So for the longest time, we've known that Apple has had its lightning connector, which made sense at the time because every other company had micro USB, which was inferior, and they had their 30 pin connector. So it made sense to use lightning up until USB-C came out and then Apple actually adopted it, but then now it's become a mess, even for Apple. Think about it is even with the criticism from Apple, EU lawmakers just voted 582 to 40 in favor of having new rules to establish having one common charger on all mobile devices across Europe. The commission should adopt these rules by July in order to reduce electronic waste and have a well-functioning internal market. They haven't disclosed what the universal charger of choice will be, but uh, we're assuming it's USB-C because it's the most ubiquitous right now. Definitely not the lightning port. We'll definitely keep you posted on how the regulation goes or if you're going to get a dongle for USB-C, which, well, I mean, that I think that's going to be the Apple way to do it, but whatever the case may be, let us know in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you think it should be USB-C? Do you think that it's as good or bad? Because in my case, honestly, again, 
Lightning made sense at the time of the iPhone 5, when it was 30 pin connector or micro USB, but now it doesn't. Even Apple doesn't support it on its own laptops. It's crazy. I'd rather the standard, but leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know what you think. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me playing around with whatever phones I'm reviewing. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you, well, next week.